Hey, happy Tuesday. How y'all doing? You know, when it comes to ruminating on negative thoughts, I know when I was younger, I used to kind of create all these narratives about people. I'd be in a place and I'd kind of think and just all the negative stuff, all, you know, the voice of fears, the voice of bias, the voice of trauma would speak up. And I'd kind of come up with these scenarios that people were doing to me. And the thing about it is they weren't really doing that to me. It, I was kind of creating it in my mind, these narratives about other people and stuff. But the thing is, I'd get huffy and puffy about it. And I treat them as if that crap that I'm imagining is true, you know? And I know there's a lot of people out there like that because I watch it on, on social media and I've experienced it myself. People, you can do one thing and people can, my gosh, they can read into it a thousand different ways. And here's the thing, you know, we always find it difficult to understand ourselves. You know, we're so complex. But for some reason, we can understand other people, oh, in an instant, we know everything all about them because of course they're not as complex as us, right? Right? No, we're foolish. We're foolish, we're immature when we do that stuff. And I know I was foolish and immature when I did that, especially because I was getting upset over stuff that wasn't really occurring. It was just an imagination. It's just a what if, a could be and stuff. And at the time, like I said, I was dealing with a lot of trauma. I was dealing with a lot of pain, a lot of betrayal and stuff. So the thoughts I would have in relationships were related to those things because that's what kind of was consuming me. That's what kind of, I was, un, I was unhealed trauma, unhealed bad stuff that happened to me. So it came out in really crappy ways and it caused me to treat people really crappy. And that was romantic partners, that was friends, that was children, that was so on and so forth. I would take things too personal, way too personal. And then, like I said, my mind would fill in all these blanks and it was just awful. And like I said, there's people today that I see do that, or even in my own life, that have created narratives even about myself. And I'm kind of the most open and vulnerable and transparent person out there. I put everything out there. I mean, what you see is what you get. What have I hidden about my past, about my future, about my present? Not a darn thing. But people still will create different stories about me that are usually negative so that it can justify behavior that isn't the best. And that's just kind of human nature. When we're younger, we kind of do that. When we're mentally immature, when we've been through a lot of trauma. So I don't want to sound like I'm cutting anyone down. I want to sound like I'm judging anyone or anything like that. I'm never about that. You know, I may speak things bluntly, but really, I talk about this stuff because I care about people. Because I don't want people doing the same stupid stuff that I did. I mean, really, I can look back at it all now and I can see just how foolish it is and how damaging it is. And I don't want y'all to go through the same. That's what it's all about because I truly do love you or I wouldn't do this stuff. So don't take it as judgment, but also stop filling in those blanks. Stop making these narratives, negative narratives about people because probably they love you and they want things to be good between you. So anyways, have an awesome Tuesday. You're an awesome, amazing human being. You are. And like I said, I do love you. So let's just do better together. Let's be kind together. Peace out. Bye.